back again here guys on another review from our Ambicom Vlog channel where we're testing out the latest gear about home studio tips and tricks for you guys making the best songs and productions at home <clears throat> so today we're gonna talk shortly about connecting your studio monitors so what is really necessary guys having the best audio um, cable and connections for your gear or can you really also work with some entry-level connections? Um, I don't know if you ever had the time to test that out for you guys, um, if there is a huge difference from the quality. So let me shortly talk to you about um, some connections, guys. Um, let me just shortly explain the regular studio monitors, guys, comes which you connect normally with your uh, studio interface, that sound card, the combo TRS or also the XLR cable, right? So, the question is now, those symmetric or coaxial, coaxial, we say coaxial cable here in Europe are uh, rather expensive. So maybe for three meters you pay more or less about nearly 20 US dollars for one cable, so that makes Two cable, symmetric cable guys, makes about 40 bucks compared with some regular TRS cable here where you can have two, maybe two cables for 10 US dollars. So it's four times higher the price for connecting your studio monitors compared with standard TRS cable. That's why we made this video guys and that's why I give you answer on this and you can test it out I made several tests with interfaces, also monitors, so it's always the same and you can read a lot also in or on the internet, guys. Um, so, at the end, the answer is pretty clear, simple and easy, guys. Go and buy this TRS cable for your home studio at home, even you use professional studio, absolutely more than enough. If you work with cables like this, and also here there are several build and qualities. Um, these are not the, uh, the most expensive ones, sounding already very good. Um, earlier we had this change connection, the red and white box. Today normally all work and all interfaces work with those TRS connections, guys. Absolutely more than enough. So why then should you ever buy and purchase those symmetric cables? And I'm gonna also give you here a tip and clue. So this is actually a high audio quality connection XLR to jack, but if you want to go for symmetric cables and coaxial cables, I just have it now installed in the studio, so I'm not gonna deconnect it for you guys. Watch out that you have two rings here on the plug, right? Exactly, because those two rings are essential for having a real um, high quality connection, a stereo connection, because this is just a mono plug, right? So all symmetric cables come with a stereo plug, guys. And what actually is the difference between the two cables, guys? So what they're telling about, if you have, you know, professional studio with long distances of cable, you might have you know, some problems with the standard ones. So whenever you use long distances, and we're talking about, they're talking about maybe from six or 10 meters above, you know. So imagine you have a studio and you just build it with your cables and you connect it all in a larger studio. So then it's really necessary and essential that you're using those um, coaxial symmetric cables for connecting your studio monitor press. That's the only difference. And you can make a thousand tests at home. If you have time and money, just do it, guys. You can save another, um, yeah, maybe 30 bucks just on the connecting cable to your monitors. And you know, whenever you go to a store and you have some advice that they just says, hey, if you buy a monitor for 200 or more one piece, just buy the best cable. You know, that's normally what they recommend in the store. So absolutely not necessary, guys. Yeah, and that's it maybe, and maybe another clue, most interfaces use those TRS connections guys and XLR for microphones. Um, just one important tip, as we have a review from the Audient ID4, the, one of the newest, 
um, interface on the market. So they're using actually a USB-C cable. So that's just the C standard with smaller USB cable working on Mac or any other laptops. Um, to be honest, I still use a desktop here at home, so with a standard 2.0, USB 2.0 standard, not 3.0. So that's also on the market, you get those kind of adapters whenever you can connect a USB 3.0 or USB-C cable to USB-A general 2.0 standard. So this is also just yeah, easy as it is, you know, standard USB, I guess you can hardly see here on the light. That's the standard 2.0 plug-in, whenever you use a new device with standard USB standard 3.0, just go and buy just an adapter. USB adapter here for maybe four box, and you can also use the 3.0 versions on your desktop. So easy it is, guys, and also from Audient, I checked this on the website. So there are no larger um, um, problems that appear. So the only thing is if you connect it with the 3.0 with a 2.0 adapter, guys, there's some. Um, or just missing some little power on the output from the headphones in general on the interface but as it has overall much more output power uh, absolutely no problem from a quality perspective or yeah recording perspective from the preamps or any other guys so this was it um, yeah about studio connections guys what else do you need uh, nothing more so today it's really very easy using those uh, yeah, I guess TRS from your studio monitors cable, guys, absolutely enough. Using an XL cable for your mic, and there, of course, if it goes to the studio mic, don't take the cheapest one, because they're also on the studio. Maybe that's a good question. I'll give you here also one example, guys. I totally forgot. Yeah, when it goes to mic recording, guys, you use the standard male and female XLR cable here and they are also different qualities and you can also see it here from the cable itself some are smaller some are protected on a higher standard some cables like this they have here three or five maximum five stars so this is a high quality cable and they are also then professional you see it over here the atom hole which is very popular so this is the more or less the entry level quality with three stars. You can get some higher quality with five star, and maybe that's a good thing if you're using the microphone cables on a stage, traveling around. Take really one of the best, and maybe on the mics, not the cheapest guys. Also here, that's Corel cable, popular brand. Um, they're talking about what do they say? Balance connections. They don't have really standard. I think this is also. Let me check. Yeah, German manufacturer. Yeah, they just talk about Spiro Shield. So, I guess this is also a higher quality microphone cable, guys. And then, yeah, that was it about the review about connections. So easy it is. Um, I hope I didn't forget anything. Yeah, check our other reviews here on YouTube, guys, about microphone interfaces, monitors, keyboards, everything you need. Some workful information also regarding songwriting, songwriting tips, song structures. You can find some learning tools here. And also check our music because we also publish a lot of music here from a label and become around the world on Spotify and Co. Uh, go for that. Yeah, watch it, Google it and stream it guys. If you have any questions, drop me an email. Whenever I have time, I get back to you and give you some worthful answer as well. Okie dokie, uh, weekend is still raining a bit, actually it's summer, but in Europe it's raining more or less the whole summer. So the past weeks, just had one or two weeks really with great sunshine and warm weather, and the rest of it is like rather cloudy and rainy and also hard storm and flutes, you know, flooding, we had some flooding in Germany or wherever, uh, also in Switzerland, so Beside COVID, not the best news at the moment. I hope you're all safe, guys. Keep safe. Yeah, keep on working on music. It's a great thing, of course. And I'm going to do this as well. And one information I totally forgot. Um, watch out the next week, guys. 
There's a new product coming. We're testing the first, the first six-inch speaker in a studio. I'm gonna not gonna tell you more by now. It's a limited edition, wonderful from the look and feel. Hopefully wonderful from the sound picture, guys. Um, I will tell you more the next time because I've tested it out in a store where I could listen one time and I was really compared to KRK, compared to Pioneer, compared what was focal, uh, focal oil and I guess these other three where I really was totally astonished about the sound of this new monitor where I'm going to show you next time. Watch out for this, um, yeah pretty soon. Guys, thanks for watching. See you hopefully next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.